hello guys welcome back in this video let's have a look on mixer brush tool and uh, right now I've got an image it's a beautiful cube with vibrant colors uh, which is laid on a blue background now coming to the mixer brush tool you could see uh, it's there in the brushes section so you know by pressing B we can access the brush tool so if I press shift B I can cycle between the brushes here so I'm selecting the mixer brush tool and then here we have uh, uh, certain things uh, one is uh, your brush presets which you can open up here so defaultly this uh, would be somewhere like that so I'll show you how this is going to work and you got a brush which you can pick here so I'm picking a, a normal default brush here which is hard enough and now um, if you could see uh, we have load brush clean brush load solid colors only all that options are there so I'm not going to touch any one of them and we have these two options here which uh, is load the brush after each stroke and clean the brush after each stroke so I'm not going to touch them as well so I just click and drag it and then if you could able to see I'm if I'm wherever I clicked that first stroke and I'm dragging it it's picking up that colors okay so I'll keep uh, the history open so that we can keep going back and forth so uh, if you remember for the very first time it picked that nice uh, orange colors and then this time when I'm clicking it's not giving me air orange but it was giving me that blue now what happened you know uh, when I started painting this and when I just keep moving here it was actually picking these blues and uh, let's say if I do it here several times okay my brush is now having lot of color in it which is basically the uh, oranges which I have done all the all the time here if I click and drag like that you get that orange so it's like your uh, real world brush which has got ink in it right so it has picked that color and you're painting that here okay so if I just uh, do it here several times okay now the brush loses its blue and then starts picking the yellows if I click and drag you get the yellow there now when I'm just uh, using uh, I'll just uh, clean the brush okay now the brush is clean now I get the orange if I don't clean the brush as I've ended up in the blue area it brings the blue stroke okay uh, so let me paint it here now if I drag it's a blue stroke there so I, I need to clean my brush okay now if I drag it it gives that orange if I don't clean it it continues that because it has got ink in it right so clean the brush and then start doing that it looks like blobs so what I'm going to do is I open the brushes and reduce the spacing okay and also go back to the history and then I clean the brush and then drag it now I should able to see so as I that was the first ink I've picked it was picking up that and uh, I need to clean that and then it, it works okay so every time let's say if I go here when I'm clicking and dragging it sorry clean the brush when I clicking and dragging it my stroke is end up ending up in the black here our second stroke is picking up that black that ink is there so you are cleaning it up right now we have these options here which is like clean the brush after each stroke so if I do that uh, I've cleaned already and this is for the stroke So when I click and drag it gives the orange stroke because and it had ended up in the dark blue now, if I click here it picks that color if I click here that picks that color okay so uh, if I'm releasing the mouse okay the brush is clean now now new stroke is the fresh so th that is basically the 
clean brush after every stroke now this is load the brush after every stroke okay um, now what is that load brush after every stroke does um, brush when you dip it in the ink it gets the ink right so when I click and drag it has got the color now that color is now in the brush and I'm painting it several times and still that color is there in it if I switch it off that color is not there okay so that's the option here so this is how basically you um, use this but uh, there is one more thing that is load colors and load colors there are uh, two ways okay one is a patch and another one is a solid color so load colors option is right now off okay now I'm in the brush I hold alt and then you should see the cursor is like nice uh, HUD and it's like uh, two concentric circles and a crosshair and then I picked it now what that actually does you know it allows me to paint that one several times I mean, it's not mixing up anything here it's painting and uh, what ha what's happening is I'm getting a bit of uh, mixing with the background and the reason is the type of the brush is uh, very wet I just chose dry heavy loaded brush so clean it pick that now you get that beautiful 3d strokes now what's happening is that stroke is continuously painted and it's not blending with the background anywhere why is that because this very wet heavy mix is actually mixing up with the background it's taking that color whereas this this one okay is not mixing up with that okay so you get that nice beautiful stroke now clean it up so I'm in a different document here this is the brush and I need to just um, reduce the scale of this I'm just writing it here okay with a simple pen tool so So if you are not very good in um, writing with your pen tablet, your hand is not free, then in that case you can use a pen tool. Okay. So go for a pen tool. And this one, sorry, pen tool, and then write or trace something which you have already got. Okay. So. okay so I've got this now switch to your pen tool there right click stroke path not fill stroke path and then choose the mixer brush from here and then okay and you get that stroke which is as good as I mean I mean the stroke is so neat and clean okay so so we'll pick the uh, color mixer tool or mix mixer brush tool and then pick that color there and then come here and I've already used the pen tool and then I have created that with the pen now what is that you need to do is first you need to set your brush thickness okay and then if you write you should get what you desire there so I'm going to clean that and then choose dry heavy load brush flow 100% load 100% 0% wetness uh, and then clean the brush and then what you need to do is okay you need to pick that brush here I think I need to make a bigger brush there pick that brush 
and you get that nice cube come here reduce the brush size and uh, keep to what how much thickness you wanted there okay make sure that you are selected the layer and then right click stroke path choose the mixer brush tool and then you get that as per what you have painted there so it's very simple to use that and get get colorful strokes there picking a brush okay and then choose nice vibrant colors there okay and then whatever so i'm going to choose the mixer brush tool and then increase the brush to what you have here hold alt and then you got the brush and then you get that nice colorful stroke there come here select the path take a new layer reduce the brush size to what you wanted there select the pen tool right click stroke path mix a brush and then this is what you get so you can get nice colorful um, text the only thing is draw your text with the pen tool and let the brush follow the pen tool design your brush and you go you get this beautiful colors with the mixer brush tool okay